Why did I get a dog? After 10 months of being without a dog, I was okay. I did not want to deal with veterinarians again. I did not want all the work. I did not want the expense. But one day I was out in the yard doing my gardening. I was about 10 feet from the fence and this strange man comes right up to the fence and asked me, you know, do you, do you need any uh, work around here? You need your trees trimmed? And he starts pointing out things that needs, need to be done. Now, people come around like that all the time. I didn't mind that. But what I minded was the look on his face. Now, I read the news every day, and sometimes they have mug shots. And he had the same look on his face that are in those mug shots, like someone, you know, with no scruples, no heart, no ethics, nothing. And it frightened me. I worked in uh, psychiatry before and I, I know, I know how to observe a person. So after that, I started thinking, well, um, should I get some kind of professional alarm system? But that might help you if somebody's breaking in a window or a door. How is it going to help me if I'm out in the yard? There's nothing like a dog. Why? Because it was created by the Almighty. If you're not religious, it's created by nature. We're created by nature. You know, when I hear some crime sometimes um, on, on the radio or something like, uh, somebody broke in a window and took a person's child and kidnapped them, kidnapped them and they were missing for 10 years and they were used for this and that horrible thing. And I always think the same thought. This would not have happened if there was a dog in the house. Okay, so I got a puppy. I used to think I was a very patient person, but after trying to teach a puppy, I know that I, I can get angry. I was surprised because I've had dogs before, but I never trained a puppy. When I did have a puppy, you know, they were outside just living in the yard. And what did I have to train them to do? Well, anyway, I'm past that point and I've gotten used to it. I've gotten more patient and one of my neighbors is in love with my dog, so he comes and walks him every day just because he likes dogs. So anyway, that's the story. Get a dog. Um, you know, in Hebrew, the word for dog is kelev. The kel comes from the word kol, which means all. And lev, that part of the word, means heart. So Kelev means all heart. Is that perfect or what?